Hello everyone, I'm back with some more interesting subjects to paint. This time I decided to paint a pineapple and I thought it would be interesting for everyone, especially for beginners, how you approach this type of shape and really what you do, you simplify it. So, for example, I use like a darker color. first to do the shadow and sorry I didn't show my palette so titanium white again cadmium yellow light cadmium yellow deep yellow ochre orange red uh, transparent red oxide alizarine uh, trans transparent red oxide is this one and this is terra rosa sorry ultramarine blue black viridian and there is some purple left from the violets I did so the way you approach is really the same as any other shape. So there is a little bit of green, a little bit of brown in this color. So maybe it's a little dark, I don't know, I'll see. Um, so I'm going to use softer brush again. Because it's linen, it's actually easy to use. So do some of this yellow ochre mixture as well with the head so it has green color has yellow but uh, my shadow is relatively warm so and I pre-drawed it a little bit so it would be faster to paint so the same color you really use for the shadow and then you slowly start going into neutral color so I use some yellow ochre uh, mixture for that. You can do yellow ochre and black, you can do yellow ochre and green, and a little bit more yellow ochre. I'm not using white yet, you can do yellow ochre on this side. And I'm not going into any details of any greens. So a little bit lighter maybe here with the approach light and even lighter will be here. So this is my colors. And it's very warm in the front. And I'm adding a little bit of white to it as well. So it's kind of, um, I don't know, not quite pomegranate but it's very similar I didn't really wash my brush I should but I just keep going <laughs> trying to do this ridges of pineapple and this color doesn't matter which color you really use because it's so multicolored, so I'm going to clean my brush. So for the, I don't have much green, but I can mix ultramarine blue and some yellow for the green color. Because it has more kind of cool green. So the colors I used was transparent red oxide and some black and some yellow ochre or you can use viridian and um, transparent red oxide. Like I said, it doesn't make huge, huge difference. Like I'm just using leftover what on my palette. As long as you use enough pa paint. And I'm not going into my lightest lights yet, so I want to do, um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more Viridian, and I'll show you my, my Viridian. So I have Viridian Gamblin, it's quite good Viridian, and it's a big tube. It was very expensive, but it goes a long way. So I'll add a little bit more Viridian 
for this small painting. So I did Viridian and I use again Viridian Transparent Oxide Brown, maybe some white later. Let me do the shadow first. So the shadow, the same as the ridges of the um, I'm mixing same as the ridges of pineapple the shadow is also those kind of dark on this side and I'll have more lighter bits on the other side even though under leaves it's still dark so I'm using some white and some more viridian and some brown and touch of yellow ochre just to Reemphasize some of the leaves or some of this, how they're called, I don't know. <laughs> but they go like overlapping each other. A little bit more white, a little bit more yellow ochre. Some of them a little bit uh, brown, some of them a little bit more green. So I'm going to use yellow ochre color that I pre-mixed before that from whatever is left and just go over here as well. A little bit more white and cadmium yellow dip so I squint and see where is the lightest bits going to be. And I also see a lot of um, like really orangey color. So I think I'm going to use some that orange. So I put my palette for a second just to mix some stuff. Orange, yellow ochre and 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 white. Yes. So I'm just trying because the same as you I'm just trying and see what I can do. <laughs> I think this color really looks nice. It adds a little bit of brightness to pineapple. The main thing not to overdo. I see it at the bottom as well. And the same as everything. You don't want to lose the shape of the object if you start overdoing so I'm going to leave this brush for now and go with little one. Smaller, not little. I, I probably don't use little brushes at all. Only for like tiny details at the end. So I prefer to work with bigger shapes. Um, or I'm trying to make myself to work with bigger shapes, I guess. So before I think I do this all the way till the end, I think I should really do background and see how it will look. So there are some tiny bits here that the light catching, just catching. So I'm just kind of flicking it. And then there are more bits here. So I don't see anything in the darker areas, but there are some at the top. So I'm using more white. I hope you can see my colors. Um, actually, I'm going to use some black and that yellow ochre mixture and some green. it's kind of grayish uh, I'll leave it like this for now so I'm going to 
do background my background is the same background I had from before so mixing all I have apart from that purple maybe purple even actually it will mix so it's like a really nice gray color and I think I'm going to do lots of white in it like lots of white I mean <laughs> very thick light mixture because um, this way it will look more distinct in this background. Yeah, so I'll continue working white colors maybe and to add a touch of blue even, especially in front. And I'll make it a little thinner. Synthetic brush works okay for these ones. I don't want to make it very saturated. I want it desaturated, it means less color, not very bright color because it's background. Background has to go away from us so it would stay there. That's the way to show atmospheric, or you can call it atmospheric perspective, yes, in this case. So I'm kind of going in there. I'll go on top of it again with green. So there is my table top over there. And also I will, same as for the other, I'll try to post painting. So I'm doing table top. Table top is yellow ochre and white and a little bit of bluish because it's a cool light has to be a little bit lighter and brighter because it's a horizontal plane so and but I don't want to lose my cast shadow so something like this without overthinking too much. Actually, I added blue to add blue here and just to see what it looks like. Well, it's not bad because it's cool light and kind of falling from the window. And then I have a warmer greenish color here. Apparently painting pineapple is fun, the same as eating it afterwards, not cutting it though. Hopefully it's a sweet pineapple. So going back to my original colors and just trying to stress some areas and so I lost some maybe some shadows in here. the greens I think there is one at the back there is some green in pineapple itself so I'm going to go through those areas and see where there is greens especially like here where there is cast shadow from it's a green at the top and then it's a little brownish and a little bit of an orange added to it but still very not very but uh, much a darker color at the bottom so I want to clean my brush and keep working on the colors so going back with green 
a little bit of yellow ochre and some white and it's a very dim yellow ochre and white and do some a little bit more white do some I'm making sure that I have enough paint on the tip of my brush. And I think I need to clean it again and do a little bit more dark accents in the leaf of the pineapple so I'm mixing very dim and brown again and add more green the good thing with um, this type of brush you can actually lay paint on top to focus too much on the sleeves because as long as they keep the shape we know it's pineapple so now I'm going to do a little bit more work on the um, front the brightest area so I'm mixing some cadmium yellow dip and some white and some yellow ochre I think I'll add some transparent red oxide because I can see some really really bright areas. It's a little bit it has a little hairs kind of. If not hairs then maybe some um, little I don't know how to call them, not leaves but but something that sticks out and it changes color from green to brown as it goes but again because it's the shade I don't want to overdo it I think I'll do some little accents each little um, small piece of pineapple that it consists of has a little bit of like little sticking hair so I'll do those only in places where I see it I squint, don't see too many. Just see some tiny. Even when I see them, I may not put them because this again, my main shape may be gone because of that. So I won't, don't want to sacrifice it for the purpose of putting extra hair. And that's why sometimes it's more important 
to keep the shape then. Adding extra detail, but to keep it simple and maybe sometimes too simple, but I guess simplicity sometimes is better than overdoing things. And as long as you communicated what you wanted to communicate to the people and describe the shape, that should be enough, really. Okay, I think that's a very quick painting of pineapple. It gives the idea how you can work with simple form. Even like here, I would I want to simplify it even more. Just don't want to all these hairs and things. I want to keep it simple, as simple as possible. So I'm squinting one last time with my lightest lights. Still go down here. Even. Squinting really, really helps. And then maybe, maybe I will do a little bit of re-emphasizing the very brightest leaves. Hopefully not too bright, but I see some, yeah, some of these leaves are really kind of in the light, so that helps me to show the shape better. The only thing I did really, I added some white to this color. Again, not too much. Don't want to overwork it. Okay, pineapple is done. I hope everyone can recognize pineapple in it, not pomegranate or anything else. So that's the most important thing. And this is a good way to work with simple shapes. I actually never painted pineapple before. I'm trying to <laughs> experiment so see if just add some texture. Adding some texture would change anything. Try to walk away from it. Yeah. Okay. So I wish you good luck with your paintings and your experiments. And if you want to see any particular object or subject that you want me to experiment with, just let me know and I'll try to paint it. I like new objects sometimes I get bored I like flowers landscapes do pets but sometimes you want to have fun and do something you never did before so with spring approaching I hope to do lots of different things but for now I will stick with this maybe I'll buy some tulips and daffodils soon nothing in my garden yet on this February day Maybe I'll do more landscapes as well, winter landscapes, based on my impressions from my walks. So I'll see you soon again. Happy painting to everyone.